Okay, welcome to another video. Um, in this one, we're going to look at Sketch 3D, which is a 3D modeling uh, app for Android. So let's open it up. Let's have a look. Apparently, this is based on just simple box modeling. Um, right away, you can see some de there'll be some demo videos in the bottom right-hand corner, so may you might want to check those out. But uh, for now, there's a cube object, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into that. I'm gonna load that in. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is look at the info button, which is top right, and this tells us how how to do each of the uh, navigations and actions on the model. So drag to orbit so we'll try that so I'm just clicking on the I'm pressing on the gray space and just orbiting around the model and back to the info and pinch to zoom so two fingers and pinching out and pinching back in that's to zoom two fingered pan so two fingers on the screen just moving the fingers around, not pinching. Yeah, pretty cool. So, edge mode. Edge mode is in the middle at the top. And the edges are, uh, sorry, the face mode is in the, in the middle at the top. And you can see that it's face mode because the face, this face is highlighted in pink. Obviously, you can press each face moving around the model, just orbiting around the model. And in edge mode, which is next to it in top middle button, on the right there, you can select an, an edge. the instructions so to translate which basically means to move that's on the bottom bar and it's the left hand button so we'll just uh, we'll select an edge well, I've got a let edge selected now I'll just move it on the blue axis and now on the green axis red axis and also if you don't like what you've done you can un you've got undo steps on the left hand side um, it's the top button in the middle so it says a number 10 af uh, after it which is the number of undos you've got in the free version so we'll just uh, we'll press that to bring that back okay back to the instructions so that's translate we've also got rotate so we'll select a different face hit the rotate button which is on the bottom bar in the middle these are massive handles but anyway we'll give it a go so we'll try to I'm on the green axis at the minute rotating Let's undo. Next one. So next one along is the scale button. So scale is on the bottom bar on the right hand side. There it is. So let's take that. And you can scale it horizontally only by pulling on the outer handle there. I don't know how this is. Yeah, this other one isn't going to work on an edge. But the big block in the middle, that should that should do everything at once. Oh no, that doesn't work at all. Okay. So we've only got this handle that actually works on edges. But if we go back to face mode, which is top bar in the middle, 
left hand button and the big block in the middle we can scale a face like that with the top handle there we can scale it up and down and with the side handle we can scale it in and out like that so you have to double tap to extrude apparently so what we'll do we'll go back to the translate button or the move tool and we'll double tap on that pink face and you can see it's flashing that it has made an extrusion let's do another one double tap and another one double tap okay so the screen's going a bit filled up at the moment so what we're going to do is we'll go over to the left hand bar in the middle with the box icon we'll press that and it should frame it up into the middle of the screen again just makes it a bit easier to see what's going on if you're making multiple extrusions like like I'm doing here it can soon fill the camera up so I'll just frame up again and yeah so we can move these go into edge mode select an edge move these things about I'm not modeling anything really at the moment It's good. It's a good basic tool for mocking up some ideas. Let's have a look on the right hand side. There's some colours. We'll press that, uh, and these are locked, so you can't change the colour. And unless you buy the full version, which is two pounds seventy nine in British pounds. You've got unlimited saves, unlimited undos. Uh, one thing I've noticed is there's no redo button. So if you undo, you can't redo an action. But yeah, pretty good. I like the design of it. I like the user interface. It could do with quite a few more tools. Definitely do with a, um, a vertex mode in order to control your model better. And I hope they fix that over time. But yeah, thanks very much for watching and uh, see you in the next video. Cheers.